my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today is my living room yes my whole living room <laughs> I am just gonna do a little bit of this here and a little bit of that there and we're gonna pull this whole room together today y'all I need to finish my fall decor and I would like to get my home tour up pretty soon here, pretty soon. So I'm excited to be finishing this decor. It has been a labor of love. It absolutely has. And I've not overworked myself, although I have worked hard as you guys have seen. So what I have decided to do in this room today is just to infuse fall into this room. And I have one new thing, can you see, to show you there. Check it out, isn't that cute? This little thing right here, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but it's going to be a little less infusing in here. We are going to do a 10 loop funky bow tutorial in this one, although I don't know whether I'll make you guys sit through the whole tutorial. We'll probably get started and then speed through the rest. I don't want this to be a super long video, but I just want to show you what little bit I've done and just the, uh, to do a few things here on camera. And I haven't done that much, y'all, honest to goodness. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get started. We're going to get started right here in the, this little cozy corner. I call this a cozy corner, even though it's really not kind of in a corner, although the, the vase is in a corner. Let me see if I can lift you guys up a little higher up over my head here and see. There we go. Okay. Let me tilt you back just a little bit and show you. You can see right there, there you can see the little scrolly piece there. And then you can see I replaced the lovely uh, plaque that looks just like that that Stacy gave me for Christmas last year for just for the fall. And it says happy pumpkin spice season. And then you can see the little dove bird below it. And of course the scroll piece and the dove below it stay there all the time. And I just replaced that one picture in between it just because I have that and I love it against our wall color, which by the way is perfect Grage, G-R-E-I-G-E from Sherwin-Williams. We got the paint swatch from them and took it to Home Depot and had Home Depot mix it in their best bear, B-E-H-R paint with primer. So just to let you know that. Then you can see uh, the big vase that I brought over here. And I may insert some footage here of me putting that together very quickly in fast motion. As I explained in my foyer video, I was none too happy with that in the foyer. So I moved it around the corner into this corner and I love it. So let me insert a little bit of footage very fast of me putting that together and I'll be right back. As you can see, I didn't do a lot with that. I just kind of, you know, zip, 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 put this there and that there and that's it. And uh, it is, we do have a set of lights in the bottom of this that Chris has rigged up in his way. And it's just a set of uh, lights we got from Michael's. So uh, then you can see on the top, I did not change a thing. I left my uh, three tiered tray or two tiered tray, excuse me, exactly like I had it before. Uh, let me move you over here a little closer. And this is just a little blue plate. And it's got blue, it's blue and white. Uh, I can't show you from here. <laughs> but I'll show you what I take it down and show you everything. All I did, literally here, you guys, is add these three pumpkins. I can grab one and show it to you up close. I got these from... Ew, at home and they were $8.99 a piece and they were I paid $8.99 for these puppies so they are kind of a gray blue and they pair beautifully and I put one on either side as you can see and then one right in the middle and that's still my mom's bridal bible 
with a little candlelight on the top of that and then my lovely little Jim Shore angel uh, with the nativity in her skirt there that, and she's gonna stay there all year and she pretty my little Jim Shore angel right there one of you guys gave that to me so that my friends is all I did. like I said I didn't do anything I walked out here scooched a couple of things around on this table and added these three pumpkins and that is it that is it kept the same candle holders and the candles I had in there just everything is the same and that's perfectly wonderful and that's the way I want it to be I just want it to be soft this corner is really not going to have any kind of a orange to note to it in here. This is gonna be left soft and pretty. In fact, a lot of the spaces in this particular room, uh, I'm gonna add a touch, like in my bike, we're gonna fix it to go there next, but really and truly not much at all in here. Be honest with you, I'm out of it, you guys. I just, I'm, I'm out of it. I can't, and I'm not gonna go buy any more, you know? So we're gonna go with what I have to work with, right? So then as we come down here, <laughs> excuse me, uh, Chris and I, Chris had a coupon, of course, <laughs> for Plow and Hearth. He had a coupon for Plow and Hearth. He said, ah, let's go into Plow and Hearth. Let's see what's in there. He said, I have this coupon for 25% off, I think. So I said, okay. So we're tootling around in there. I also got a leaf banner from there, and that's going to go on my red wagon. But I didn't bring that out here. So you'll see that coming soon. But anyway, this is, we picked this up and it's like, it's a, it's a pumpkin, but it's like Cinderella's kind of carriage, you know, <laughs> look how pretty. And it does light up, has LED lights and you can see the battery box slides right into its own little, own little case there. See that? And it takes dub or uh, C batteries. But Chris is going to rig it up. He said he can rig this up and put it on an external battery that has a long battery life and then it'll be on a timer. So instead of wasting the battery, so that's what he's going to do. And don't ask me how he does it because I don't know. <laughs> and he's not willing to say. But anyway, isn't this cute? You can. You can open it up over here. It does have a place where you can open it up and put things in it, but I'm not going to this year. I'm going to leave it as is. I love it just like this. So I took away the big cream lantern I had here and I put this here and I love it. It's just very subtle, very sweet, a very quiet touch of fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have really loved this decor. And I'm really happy that my dad is gonna be able to see it, y'all. I think that's why I've been working so hard since I found out that he was coming down in October, right, you know, to celebrate with us. And my kids are gonna be here and everybody's gonna be able to see my fall decor. Usually by Thanksgiving, I'm, I'm Christmas decorated, y'all. And I won't be this year. I won't be, I'll probably be behind everybody else on YouTube just because of I have my cruise, you know. So I'm sure I'll have some done before Thanksgiving, but it's not gonna be everything, so. Just to warn y'all about that. <laughs> I'm gonna be behind the eight ball for once in my life. I'm usually ahead of the game, but not this year. And I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna complain about going on a cruise. Are you kidding me? I am so thrilled and, and humbled to be able to do that with just two other ladies. Three of us ladies are gonna have a good time. And I'm hoping to vlog it, as I said, a little bit of it anyway. Anyway, I wanted to show you a couple of other things. And as y'all will remember, I went to Ross and I picked up these two candlesticks, looky, looky. So I have one sitting right back here. Excuse the dust, I really need to dust, sorry. Oof. And then, this is what I did with this one. I had one of these little, little pumpkins left, little grateful pumpkins. And then I just made a pitberry garland left over from the pitberries, whatever I use them for. I had one little piece left over and uh, oh to go around this big pumpkin on my sideboard. I had one little piece left over and I just made a candle ring and just I had to tie it on with the tie wrap once I had it kind of cinched around the top of the candlestick because I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I have this glue dotted on. I couldn't fit it around this. So I did kind of have to hold it in place and then I tied it shut with a tie wrap. So doesn't that look cute? So that looks cute and it's just with a little grateful pumpkin. So I just have that sitting down here on the floor, you know, and that's it, y'all. That's all I did over here. There we go. 
I'm not going to put any scarecrows or anything like that. It's just going to be a soft blue, you know, blue corner. So I'm really happy with this. Very, very happy. All right. So that'll do this corner. And of course, at the end here, I'll get my camera down and I'll, you know, I'll take you around to the whole, you know, to everything, to every little vignette. Uh, but anyway, let's move over now to the bike. I have a bike sitting over here and I'm going to pick you up and move you. And I'm going to skedaddle over here on the floor on my knees. So I'll be right back once I get myself in place over here. Okie dokie, y'all. Here I am over here uh, on into the living room. You can see here my little Paisley's chairs. My chairs, by the way, came from Lane Furniture. They do recline. Uh, they are the most comfortable chairs. These are the same kind of chairs that I have in the family room, too. Bell Lane recliners. Lane does not make them anymore, but you can that I know of, but you can find them if you Google Lane High Leg Bell, B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, High Leg Recliner. Uh... But this is what I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be working on that bike. You can see the bow there. I'm gonna take the bow off of the I'm bike. I'm gonna be making a bow. I'll show you that in a second. I'm not touching this up here, y'all. I am not touching it. I love it. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as is. Again, I'll get you down and take you closer to it once, we, once I get this bike done. Uh, if anything, I'm just gonna stick a little bit of the rusty, just a, like a tuff of it in the little cup up there. Other than that, I'm leaving it as is. I love it. I love this room to be soft and, and light and airy, you know? And I don't want it, I think of, you know, the rust has been beautiful and it has been lovely to infuse everywhere, but I, I don't know, for some reason, I'm just wanting this room just to kind of lighten in the palette a little bit as we've made our way through, you know? So, anyway, let me see. I think I can take a couple, just poke a couple of these off yeah I thought so let me bring this down here real quick uh, oops <laughs> a blueberry fell out see that just a cute little and I got this cup at and that for like three bucks or something and honest to true all I want to do is just a touch I keep saying that a touch I know y'all are sick of hearing that. <laughs> but really and truly, I don't want any more than that. Just something that says, oh, look, it might be becoming fall, you know? That's it. Period. The end with that. <laughs> that's all I'm going to do. And that's the only touch of fall that that table up top is going to have on it. So... I want to do a little something with this bike. So let me turn you around here. And I'm talking a little bit of something again with this bike. But what I am going to do, and it's going to be just putting some more of these in, I think. I do have some leaves, I may add, down here. But maybe not. It might just be this. And that might be my kind of my theme running. You know, because I really don't have anywhere else to decorate except for the top of my secretary. And it's just going to be a smidge over there, too. Anyway, let me see if I can get you over here a little bit closer. I am going to do a, uh, right there. You can see I've already put a pumpkin. I went and I bought one more. <laughs> one more of these for $10. Uh, this is one of those velvet pumpkins from Michael's. Uh, they're 20 to begin with. 50% off makes them 10. So one more of these. Oh my goodness. I bought, I think I have five others. And this will make the sixth one, $60 in just pumpkins for this fall. Oh my goodness. But anyway, and here you can see, I'm not going to touch this bike much, to be honest with you. I'm going to leave it just as is. And all I'm going to do is put that pumpkin right there. And then I do have a little scarecrow here that I'm going to sit on the floor, kind of snugged up in there. And you can see she has a smidge of blue and she'll kind of bring in the fall just as so she's going to sit down there, you know, uh, and then, let's see here, I want to add a couple of these, maybe just, you know, a couple of these just to, you know, say, oh, look, you know, or maybe one more. 
but my bow, I'm gonna make a new funky bow for this because I wanted to, really because I wanna use a, a ribbon that Bobby at perpetualribbons.com, bless her heart, sent me for free, y'all. And she told me that she doesn't have any more of it. I don't know whether she'll get any more of it in, but I do wanna tell you about Bobby one other time. You all have heard me speak of her before. Put this, I'm gonna take this bow off, but look at this ribbon she sent me, y'all. Look at this. It is blue and white, it's cobalt blue and white. Oh my heavens. And it is D. Stevens ribbon. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. Now she only had uh, one and a half inches, but she sent me, I don't know how, 10 yards, 10 yards of this. Oh my goodness, y'all. I am so humbled and blessed to have this lady and uh, I highly recommend her. No, she does not. I am not sponsored her, by her, but she sure did send me this for free, y'all. I'm going to make a 10-loop funky bow with this. And I think that is going to just pull that blue right over and up out of here. And this is soft. This is what will go... Well, I don't know. I may leave this on for winter, too. I may not ever take this back off or put this somewhere else. But anyway, let me take this bow off of here. I already have my pipe cleaner. And I cut 10 pieces of ribbon at 24 inches a piece. And I wanted it all in the same ribbon. I tried to pair some blue with this, y'all. But then I was like, I do not want anything taken away from this ribbon. So we're going to make ourselves a 10-loop funky bow. And it is gonna be, it's going to sit right there, and I think it's going to be beautiful. So here we go. Take your first... So each strip, I made, I cut 10 strips, and each strip is one loop in the funky bow. So all we do is turn it, fold it right in half, and then I have a tape measure here, and I'm gonna measure out five and a half inches for my loop, and then I'm gonna pinch it together right at that, at the five and a half inch mark, and then I'm going to go to that back tail, and I'm gonna twist it. I know you guys are usually on the other side of me here, but we're gonna work with it here. So, and then you twist that one tail and you bring it, bring the right side forward. So I like to do that with every loop. So here we go with the second loop in our 10 loop funky bow. Go to five and a half inches and you wanna point that loop up in the same direction as the first one was. We are gonna get into a pattern here in a second and I'll explain. Same thing, go to that back tail and you twist it around to the front. This ribbon is lovely. Oh my gracious, this is going to be a beautiful bow. I know it. So there we go, our first two loops in our 10 loop funky bow. Now pick up the next loop, or next strip, excuse me, go to five and a half inches, and then we're going to turn the loop down from center. Center being my thumb. Think of my thumb as the center of the bow. Then you're gonna to go to that back tail and you're gonna twist it around just like you did the first two. And that will be our pattern. Here we go with the next, the fourth ribbon, piece of ribbon that will make our fourth loop in our funky bow. Five and a half inches, turn that loop down from center and add it in and then go to that back tail and twist. So that's the way we're gonna make our way through this whole bow is two, when you, each time you add a loop, you're gonna add two loops up from center and then the next two will go down from center. Up from center, the next two, here we go, up from center. Add the ribbons in side by side by side, up from center. And I've let it slip back into the crook of my finger, as you've probably been seeing as we've done this. Maybe it's good I did it this direction. So my whole finger, my whole, uh, you know, I have my fingers out about like that. You start out pinching it, and it's just slid back, slid back, slid back into the crook of my hand. So I'm, I'm literally holding on with, with two fingers, but as it, I'm barely touching. My fingertips are barely touching there. See that? Anyway, so we get our pipe cleaner, go to about halfway down our pipe cleaner, lay it across and under our thumb, take the 
bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. And then get your fingers up as close as you can to the back of the bow. And I kind of scrooch my fingers around to get and and pinch and then twist, 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 twist. And there we have a 10 loop funky bow. Now that kind of looks funny, doesn't it? So, you know, the most important part, as I always say, of every bow is the fluffing. And I am telling you, Jay Stevens, I think is pretty daggone expensive ribbon, but boy, if you get it, it is <laughs> amazing ribbon. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, it is holding its shape wherever I put it beautifully. And now, all right, now I'm going to get it on the bike, and then I'm going to play with it a little bit more on the bike. But look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I want to get a tie wrap. And I want to, and what I want to do is take my tie wrap, and I want to slide it right up and underneath the pipe cleaner see that and that way if i just tried to tie this bow on with the pipe cleaner it's too heavy it's too heavy it's going to want to tilt forward i don't want it to tilt forward i want it to be super tight and i don't want it going anywhere so a tie wrap will do that for me better than a pipe cleaner so i'm literally just tying the pipe cleaner or the the tie wrap using the tie wrap to tie wrap this on to these handlebars, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it back around here and I'm gonna do some fluffing. Absolutely beautiful, y'all. Look at that. Ah, I love it. Just like that. Sam will not touch him. He might come out and sniff him, but he won't touch him. Sam hasn't chewed anything up since he was a puppy. And even then he didn't. Even then he didn't. All right, that's it, y'all. I think that's super pretty. Super, super pretty. Of course, I'm still messing with this bow. <laughs> you know, one up higher than the other or down lower than the other, you know? I don't want them to be perfectly up, 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 like that. That's what I'm doing, just kind of separating them out. I tell you, they bend wherever you want them. This ribbon is just awesome. All right, that is perfect. I'm just gonna, well, it's not perfect. Nothing's perfect, but that's good enough. I'll leave it just like that. I love now, it. Now, I just want to kind of show you a couple of things here as we work our way around the room. Y'all remember this arrangement that I did? Well, I'm not doing anything with it. All I did was add just, a, I have a little vine with green pumpkins and whatnot, and I just literally laid that across and in it. I didn't want to mess with this. I think it's pretty. I think with the fall, uh, fall looking basket it's absolutely fine the way it is and i'm not going to mess with it i just simply put these couple of pumpkins in front of them kind of lean the pumpkins up against one another and that is all i did that is all i did and that's all i'm going to do i'm not even going to put any orange in this i like it just like this and then with the table above it let's see all i did there was add a little pumpkin and I moved the candlesticks that were on the my grandmother's table here. I'm fixing to show you again. One on this table and then one on the little table over over on the other side of the couch. My grandmother's. And you all see, remember this little arrangement that I did on my mama's tray that uh, she had at her reception at her wedding. Wedding reception. And uh, I just made that up real quick. And not going to mess with that. And I'm not going to change out pillows out here because I like the navy blue with the plaid. I'm not going to change out the blanket. Nor am I going to change out the little teddy bear with the plaid. Uh, the plaid 
bow around his neck. I think he's cute. So the only thing I have left to do is to do a little something with my secretary over here. And I am not really going to do much. So let's walk over here and see what's what over here. Okay, Niggy, you guys, I'm so sorry. My video turned off and I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know when it stopped working. Oh! So anyway, I added some more to my little basket over there that I'll take you over and show you that in a little bit. I don't know if less I'm like rambling here and I don't need to be. I'm not sure where my camera turned off at though. So, but we'll make our way around the room and I'll show you each little thing yet. Excuse me. Here I am over at the secretary. And as you can see, that's the top of it. I left the greenery alone and I took another little greenery garland that I had around my lantern last year and I repurposed it and put it right up here and it kind of blends in which is what I wanted and you can just see a green pumpkin and white pumpkin every now and again up there and that's all I did I put nothing inside I didn't change anything on the inside and do not plan to change anything on the inside it's just gonna stay just like that and I love it just as is I think it's so pretty right. so let's move here to the top of the secretary and I'm really not going to do too much with this either. Uh, I like it as is. I am going to add some fall elements. One thing is this little jobby that I've had for years and years. It's just a pumpkin with uh, votive candle holders and votive candles. And I'm just going to set that back in the back. Right like that. And then these are the birds that were in the arrangement that was in the foyer table that I replaced with the uh, cute little squirrels holding their gold, <laughs> their gold acorns. So I'm just going to set these two right in here like this. I'm going to leave this candlestick right where I had it. I'm going to leave this decor as I had it. And I'm going to eat, leave this here, expect nothing, and appreciate everything. But I'm just going to add a little bit of fall right into this little arrangement. As you can see, this is a little tray that I got from the Culpepper Mini, Minute Man Mini Mall. And I just simply have a bird and some ivy and one hydrangea in it. And that's all I have. This is a little vase in the back that I have sitting in the back with just some ivy and blueberries coming out of it. So all we're going to do is just add a little bit of fall into this. That's a melamine plate behind it. I'm going to leave that plate there. And as you can see here, I just have some acorns and some pine cones. So I thought I would put maybe a few of these in and through. And I'm looking at this, and I thought maybe just a couple of these, one maybe up in here. And then one coming out of here. Kind of just adding to what I have there already. following the same lines as I created with the ivy. Mm, just like that. And then maybe just add a couple of these little wispy things. And I'm gonna call it a day, y'all. it. I do have a little pumpkin. I thought I would sit him there. I have one this color, but I think I'd rather have the orange. I'm just going to sit it there like that and maybe take just a couple of these little, just put them up in this corner. With a pine cone. You know, just a few. And that's it. Okie dokie, you guys. I'm all finished the living room. Oh my goodness. I'm super happy with how everything worked out. Just a touch of fall here and there. I'm super happy with it. So let me close this one out for now and then I'll get my camera down and I'll show you each vignette.
So, but that's it for this one. So let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.